Hi, this is the Anonymous Bice Glitz. I figured I'd do a video test on how long it takes to go to zero guide 10 to charge the iPhone 5. I charged the guide 10 with the Gold Zero Nomad solar panel on the Gold Zero website. They claim the Nomad 7 will charge the guide 10 in around four to six hours. And that's about what I found too. The back of the Nomad is a pouch, which is useful in storing the guide 10 and the associated wires. This 12 volt accessory cable allows you to charge two devices at the same time. On a bicycle, I haven't used it, but I suppose with a USB adapter installed in it, I'd have an additional charging port. On a sunny day, with a Guide 10 in a pouch and a Nomad 7 strapped to my rear rack, I can charge the Guide twice. Here you see a steady green light means the Guide is fully charged. There's also a handy little LED light built right in. Put the switch in the on position and plug in your device, charge it. Charging the guide is as easy as moving the switch off. Plugging it in and then pointing the Nomad into direct sunlight. After I bought the Nomad 7, I found out that I could plug in my old Nomad 3.5. This increased the surface area by half, and I figured more sun, the faster the charge. On the Nomad 7, there's a terminal which has a port to chain solar panels together. The wire above that plugs into the Guide 10, and directly above that is a 12-volt adapter link, and you really can't see it, but a USB port. And that USB port is where you charge other devices directly from the panel if you want to. The Guide 10 will also charge AAA batteries with the adapter. An adapter just snaps in and is stored in the pouch. The guide can be charged from a household outlet using the mini USB port. That's a great addition if you are like me and you want to charge the batteries prior to a trip. This is a time-lapse video showing the Guide 10 recharging my iPhone 5. The switch is in the center position, the phone plugged into the USB, and I timed the charge at half hour intervals. In two hours, the phone was fully charged. I used whatever power was left to charge the Garmin Edge.
you can see the Garmin shut down when the voltage dropped below the 5 volts. It's hard to tell right now, but that light is red. That means the pack needs to be recharged. There was still enough juice in the pack, though, to raise the Garmin's power by 19%. Even though it's below 5 volt, the light still works. If you're thinking about buying a solar charger, I would definitely recommend the Gold Zero. This is the Anonymous Bicyclist. Thanks for watching.